This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Thursday, May 28, 2015. Euro dollar. So the euro has extended declines in Wednesday trade, with the market trading down to as low as 108.19 ahead of this latest minor bounce. At this point, any rally should be very well capped by previous support now turn resistance in the 110.50 to 110.70 area, with the market seen lower back towards the 12 year low at 104.62 in the days ahead. Next key support comes in at 106.60, which represents the low going back to mid April. Sterling dollar. So cable continues to extend declines off that 2015 high posted the other week, with the market now looking to break back below Wednesday's low, which comes in at 153, and open a fresh downside towards next key support at 150.89. At this point, any rally should be very well capped ahead of 155, with only a break back above the recent highs that we saw around the 156 area to compromise the current downtrend. Dollar Yen. So Dollar Yen continues to extend gains with this market breaking out of key multi-week, multi-month resistance at 122 and now opening the door for fresh upside towards the 125 to 130 area further up. At this point, any setback should be very well supported with only a break back below the low that we saw on Wednesday at 122.77 to, to take the immediate pressure off the top side. Euro Swiss. So although we've seen setbacks in recent trade in Euro Swiss, the market has been very well supported ahead of 103, with a higher low sought out in favor of the next upside extension above 105.25 and back towards 108.15. At this point, only a close below 103.05 would uh, compromise or delay the outlook, while back below 102.35 would negate the recovery structure. Aussie dollar. So Aussie continues to extend decline since putting in what looks to be a lower top at 81.63 with the market to confirm that on a break below the key yearly and multi-year low at 75.33 going back to early April. A break below 75.33 would pave the way for the next major downside extension towards 70 while at this point any rally should be very well capped ahead of the 80 area. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has done a really good job of recovering in recent trade, with the market looking like it wanted to put in a medium term higher low at 119.20 ahead of the next major upside extension back above the yearly high from early March or mid March at 128.35. At this point, any setback should be very well supported ahead of the 121.50 area. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi looks like it's putting in a medium term lower top at 77.44 with the market da turning down over the past several days and looking like, like it wants to take out critical support in the form of the multi month low and the yearly low at 71.76 going back to February. A break below 71.76 will open the door for the next major downside extension towards 65. At this point any rally should be very well capped ahead of 74. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 continues to show signs of exhaustion after putting in fresh record highs at 2137, but the market will now need to break back below the low that we saw on uh, Wednesday, which uh, on Tuesday, which comes in at 2098, 2099, to put pressure back on the downside and suggest the market could be in the process of carving a more meaningful top. Key support for this market comes in from lows in early March of 2040, and a break below there will really shift the structure. Gold. So although we've seen some significant setbacks in recent trade from 1232 highs all the way back down below 1200, the market is expected to be very well supported ahead of 1170 in favor of a push back above 1232 and towards the 1300 area further up. At this point, only a close below 1170 would compromise the recovery outlook for gold and put the pressure back on the downside towards the 2014 base at 1131.